Offensively, as I mentioned, we don't have a ton of ton to talk about here. The one thing we do have to talk about is James Cook. And if you listen to the show on a regular basis, you know that I had my hot take of the offseason was somewhere six, seven weeks into the season. We were gonna see Ray Davis, you know, take over primary primary ball carrier duties. <laughs> from James Cook and uh maybe James Cook heard me and and he took it personally but he came out and had a freaking day three touchdowns two on the ground one in the air the one the one receiving touchdown he had was an absolutely beautiful play it comes through the benefit of McDermott being aggressive on offense which if you've listened to the show last week you know that I always appreciate McDermott's aggressiveness as a coach, but it's often aggressive using special teams and defense. Seeing them go for it on fourth down to seal off this drive, beautiful play call. James Cook running open, he catches the ball. Just absolutely beautiful. He ends up with 11 carries, 78 yards, two touchdowns on the ground. Uh, The one carry, absolute thing of beauty, 49-yard run. He gets to the second level, and it's it's him versus Poyer left. And this is one that I've seen all over the socials of, like, you know, you hear it all the time. Like, you'd rather get out a year too early on a guy than a year too late. And it seems like, you know, we noticed that maybe Poyer was losing a step last year, maybe... There is some injury stuff going on, but when Cook is getting that edge and we're doing a foot race between Poyer taking an angle and Cook getting to the end zone, I, there he was at like the 20-yard line before I realized he was gone. 